Hi, and welcome back. So today we are going to be making a rainbow loom pencil charm. So you will need 4 black, 17 pink, 12 white or tan, and 21 of the body of the pencil, which would be this part of a pencil. So, yeah. First you're going to grab one black and with your loom with yeah, the arrows facing you and the pegs and the pegs are like this. Take it at the last one and put it right here. Now using double bands for the rest, going to go to the side. On the other side too. And now go down, always using double bands. That's your eraser. Okay, so you can use silver for this or gray, but I don't have that, so I'm going to continue with pink. Going down. I'm sorry for the background noise. I'm at my mom's job, so yeah, it's going to be loud. Sorry. So now grab two of your body color. I'm using tie-dye. And put it down three times. One, two, and then three. Again, now go on the row right next to it. Do it three times. Now the row next to it. Uh oh. Sorry. Okay. Go down. Okay, so now you're going to grab your double white. Make sure that you always have two. I'm going to take it down with the white. So instead, take those white off, go diagonal, and then push those down, Whoop. <laughs> and then grab another two, put it across from right here, this guy just wants to be a slingshot. Now grab two more. And put it down, not linking together. Okay. Link it together.
double bands. And now, when your room should look like this, your time for double bands. So grab one, wrap around um, three times, so you'll see four loops. So one, two, I mean four times. So there's one, meh, one, two, three, four. Now grab another one. Now go go one. Put it right here. Go around one. Two. So double it. And then go across. You see that's one rubber band just doubled. Always double the band that you're using. Push down all your bands also. And bring it over. You do the same thing that you did earlier and double it. You'll go all the way up like that. Okay, and now grab one silver or pink. Pink if you did what I did. Push those band down and double it like you did over there. Twist. Pull over. to hook. So we're going to reach into that cap band and grab the bottom two holding down the cap band and bringing it up and hooking it to itself. Reaching in, grabbing the top two, hooking it to itself. Top two. I grabbed three over here on accident. So grab the top two, hook it to itself. Top two. <gasps> That's okay. That was three bands for some reason. Oh that band broke. That's okay. So so you hooked it all together. This is what it should look like. Now you're going to hook all the way up, making teardrops. So you're reaching in to those cat bands, pushing them back and grabbing the two that are at the bottom. <sighs> and hooking it to itself. Remove the cat bands. Grab the bottom two. If one comes loose, that's okay. Just try to grab it with your fingers. Just always reaching in at the bottom and grabbing the bottom two. Bottom two. Bottom two. So right here, you're going to reach in, grab them, and turn your loom to the side, and hook it into the middle right there. Now go all the way back down, doing the same exact thing that you did over there.
do not hook this black band. If there's any tension, release it by sticking your hook in and twisting it around, being very gentle, and then just continue the process. If a band snaps, that's okay because you have another band to be there for it. That's why you use double bands. And also so it can be thicker. Bring that band up and over, grab the band, bring it over to itself. So this is what it should look like all hooked. Except for this one band, so now that it's all hooked, we're going to link it all together. So reach all the way in after I fix this one rubber band. So reach all the way in and find that black rubber band. You can look at it from the side if you have to. Reach in. Try to grab the black. There we go. I grabbed it. If there's tension, release it. Okay, and once you hook it to itself, you pull it off and grab the one in the back and pull it forward. And then you just create a slip knot, slip knot basically. Pull it, not so hard, then loop it back, I'll grab the back of your hook, go right here, all the way up, and do only the white part, and then go into the back, and then do only the pink eraser part. Be very careful so you don't break it. Yeah. Yeah. Just go be sad if that happens. Then grab it. Just pull it off the limb. Stretch it a little bit. And there you go. Uh, adorable rainbow loom pencil charm. Hope you enjoy. This is very easy to make. 